For the purposes of this course, you will need to install both Python and Jupyter on your computer. Python is a programming language and Jupyter Notebook is a powerful way to write and improve on your Python code for data analysis. Rather than writing and rewriting an entire program, in Jupyter Notebook you can write lines of codes and run them one at a time. Then if you need to make a change, you can go back and make your edits and rerun the program again all in the same window. Jupyter will always be 100% open source software, that is, it is going to be free for all to use. Solving a particular task could require coding in a few languages such as Python, R, or PHP. Instead of installing different interfaces for each language, Jupyter allows you the flexibility to connect to the various different language kernels. This is one of the main reasons why Jupyter is widely used in so many large corporations such as Google, Microsoft, Bloomberg, and IBM. Jupyter simplifies the process of the workflow immensely and hence is the preferred software package for data scientists. There are various ways to install Python on your computer and for this class we would install Anaconda, a software package that contains both the Python programming language and the Jupyter Notebook app, as well as many packages for scientific computing and data science. To download Anaconda, go to www.anaconda.com and click on Individual Edition under Products, then click Download. You must pick one of the three operating systems, Windows, Mac, or Linux. In this video, I'll show you how to install Anaconda for Windows, but the procedure is same for Mac or Linux. Please keep in mind that Anaconda is constantly updating, so even if the interface looks slightly different from the one in this video, the functionalities are likely to remain the same. Depending on the Windows version you are running, you might want to choose 64 versus 32-bit. Newer computers are most likely running with 64-bit processors, but if you would like to clarify this, click on the Windows icon and type System. Select System from the menu and check the information referring to the system type. In my case, it is 64-bit. Click download, then you must find a directory where to install the file and press save. When the download is completed, run the application. What follows is nothing different from the standard Windows installer. Agree and press next until you get to the screen to specify a destination folder. Click browse and after selecting the folder where you want to install Anaconda, click next. Then follow the suggestions made by the installer. For instance, I'll check the second option only. Finally, click install and wait until you have been told that the installation is complete. I will uncheck any suggestions I see after this moment and then click on finish. You can open the start menu and under Anaconda, select the Jupyter Notebook app. It will take a few seconds for the app to load. Once this is done, your web browser will open a new tab with the Jupyter dashboard. There is an alternate way for starting Jupyter. You can click Anaconda in the Start menu, which will lead you to all software tools that come with Anaconda application. Here you can select Jupyter and it will once again open a new tab in the web browser with Jupyter Notebook. Once you have downloaded Anaconda and are able to open Jupyter Notebook, please check the next video for an overview of the Jupyter Notebook.